Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Boy, did we have a gorgeous day today. I think it had to be about 70 and I kind of always look over there because I can see outside. Steve got the yard cleaned up, got all the branches up from chopping down the pine tree. Um, Haley and I went for a really long walk. What else? I worked most of the day. I feel like I'm getting myself um, caught up a little bit. So some of your emails I have answered, some I haven't gotten to yet, but I'm working on them. Yeah, I actually went to bed last night at 8.30. I took a shower <laughs> because I went out by Steve. He was burning some of the um, evergreen branches and stuff and oh, it smelled so good out there. It just smells like, like pine trees, but then I smelled like campfire. And of course, you guys know I didn't take a shower yesterday, so uh, my hair stunk really bad. You know how if your hair is not clean, it like picks up any odors? Yeah. So today, not only am I showered, but I'm also wearing a bra. You're welcome. <laughs> I know you guys thought I was maybe kidding yesterday, but I really was in my pajamas. Like, I never got dressed. <laughs> I'm dressed today and um, Haley and I had a fabulous day. We got to, like I said, go for a walk. That was really nice. She said she was really grateful to be able to have time to spend over here because she thinks she would go crazy sitting at home. At home, she doesn't have a complete craft store in her house. <laughs> Not like here. Is this live, Debbie? Yep, this is live. This is it. This is live with me. I can talk to you. You can ask me questions. Hang on while I turn my heater off. So, um, today, Haley dressed really, really light like it was summer. And it was really cute because when I got up this morning, I decided I was going to dress. <laughs> Ashley says, who needs a bra? I know, right? When I got up this morning, I decided I was going to dress warm. So, I actually have a long sleeve shirt on, my little jacket. I put knee-high socks on with my shoes and my jeans. And then, hang on, I went and grabbed a little throw blanket to wrap myself in so that I wouldn't have to turn my heater on because she is hot, 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 hot. And I am super cold, like almost all the time, except when I have a hot flash, which they don't always come when I need them. And right now my feet are freezing. When we went for our walk today, she's like barely dressed and I'm like, you know, got the long sleeve shirt on and the knee high socks and a jacket. And um, it was kind of funny because I said, you know, maybe it's the medication I'm taking that makes me have a low temperature that makes me cold all the time. And I touched her arm. I'm like, feel how cold my fingers are freezing. And they were, they're not right now, but my feet are cold. So I got my blankie to wrap in and she was quite comfortable and I never turned the heater on until she left. <laughs> Then I cranked that puppy up under my desk. I've got a little space heater under my desk so that I can stay warm. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kim. Kay, I see so many of you popping in here. Sandy, it's good to see you here too. Debbie's watching. So today, um, Haley worked on another scrapbook page. And I also got, well, I didn't get mail. Haley got mail. And I'm going to be sharing the card that she got with the gift um, with you guys. But the gift I can share with you right away. This is the gift. And it's a book by Rachel Platon. And it's called You Belong. And it's just the sweetest little book. This is sent by my team member, Jay Shante. And she also sent a super little cute card for Haley. And I will be making the card for you tonight in a little different variation, not much, just a little bit. And um, I'll also show you hers because it's stinking adorable. And she said, Dear Haley and Jared and Kelly and Steve, I'm so excited about the upcoming little bundle of pink. Thanks for sharing it with all of us. I saw this book on a clip on Good Morning America last week and instantly knew I had to get one for you. How sweet is that? This isn't just like the cutest little book ever. 
Haley went through it and she's like, oh my gosh. And of course, being a teacher, she loves books, but it's got beautiful pictures in it. It's so sweet. So Jay, um, if you're watching, thank you so much. This was just the cutest thing ever. And I'll share her card after we make the card we're going to make tonight. So, hi Sarah, hi Arliss, Jenny, Gilmore. I saw Rachel pop in here. Rachel, how are you feeling? I've been thinking about you. Um, one of my really good friends, Julie, I chatted with her today on message, on um, texting. Um, I just feel so bad for her. Her mom has memory problems and she had to put her in, well, I don't know, Julie, if she actually put her in a home or if she went to a rehab facility and she's still there. I think she had to go someplace else because she was done rehabbing. But anyways, now she can't go visit her. And I know a lot of you are in that position and I, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry that's happening right now. It's horrible. And not to be able to go and visit is really crummy, but thank God we have technology. And I shared this earlier today. I do a Facebook Live. Oh, Kim, I'm so sorry. Kim's aunt passed away due to the coronavirus. My heart goes out to you. I'm just so very sorry. Wow. Um, I know we're hearing this more and more, right? And it's really sad. I'm very sorry. So... I was saying this morning that I went, I did, um, I do a Facebook Live question and answer with my team members every Tuesday morning. And, oh good, Rachel's negative. Thank you for telling me, I, I know you still don't feel good, so I hope you're feeling better, but good news, right? Um, on my Facebook Live today, question and answer, I was sharing with my team members that if you're feeling isolated, if you feel like, oh my gosh, this is driving me crazy, I need to be around some people, I'm, the, you know, you're just crawling the walls, or you're feeling really sad, did you know that your instant messenger on Facebook, if you can be on this Facebook, you have instant messenger. That's where you can message back and forth privately. The little tab that's in between the people and the bell is your instant messaging tab on the blue line. If you guys click on that, let me look at mine for a second. If you click on that, at the top of the screen, it'll say who you're going to talk to. So if you're talking to your friend Susie Smith, it'll have her name there. Then it has a little video camera, a telephone, um, a wheel cog, and an X. That little video camera lets you video chat. And I do this with my friends all the time. I did it with my mom the other day. Click on that video camera. It will call her on whatever device she uses to be on Facebook Messenger. And you guys can see each other and chat. So please do that. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling like you're climbing the wall, reach out to one of your friends on there and give them a call and uh, chat with them because I think that'll make you feel a lot better. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Lisa. Um, Lisa was watching the wrong one. Well, I'm glad you're on the right one now because I have a really cool project to show you. Okay, um, we have a winner from yesterday. Oh, and before I forget, my dear friend Lynn from Australia, um, we met online and we've become fast friends. She has just a, just a wicked sense of humor and I absolutely adore the emails that she sends back and forth. She doesn't watch me on Facebook. She watches me later on um, um, YouTube. So... Oh, um, Nancy, I received a bunch of mail today that is still in the kitchen because I forgot to bring it in here. So I'll be showing everybody that tomorrow. It's possible that your card came in there. Um, but thank you for sending it. Anyways, my friend Lynn was reminded me, of course, that this weekend, is it this weekend is Easter? No, it's not till the, yeah, that's the 12th. I don't know why I was thinking it was the following weekend, but this weekend is Easter and I will not be live on Easter. So I just want you guys to know that. Um, I'm going to take the day off. Yeah. So winners from yesterday. I have some of these beautiful red rhinestones that I'm going to be sending to Barb Kilpatrick from Michigan. At least it says you work in Michigan. So I'm assuming that you're from Michigan. And Barb Kilpatrick I don't have your address, so if you could please um, private message me your address and I will get this off in the mail to you as soon as I get that. So, yay. Um, 
<gasps> Somebody made the pop-up box with the umbrellas. Randy did. Did you love it? Is it like the coolest little thing ever? In case you guys missed that, here's my little umbrella box. This is what she's talking about. Is this not the cutest little thing ever? And it folds up and goes in an envelope. So super cute. I love this. And if you happen to order my um, Dress to Impress April kit, I just invoiced everybody today. I know I was getting a lot of messages that, um, hey, I ordered your kit, but I didn't get an invoice yet. Usually I do those immediately, but I, I held off and I did them all at once. So if anybody needs that kit, just pop on my blog and order it. When you click and fill out the form, then I'll send you um, an invoice, but it might be a little bit delayed because I'm still running behind on emails. I just want you to know that it's very unusual for me to not respond to emails right away, but something's got to give. And I think you and this is more important than getting to the emails. They'll still be there, right? Arla says she made a pop-up card with the tulip punch. That would be beautiful. What a great idea. And Debbie, it's your 49th anniversary. You order out. Oh my gosh, happy anniversary to you. And I'm also sorry that you're stuck at home. Is everybody doing okay? I think I'm doing just fine. Um, it's really nice that I can have Haley coming over. This is the only place that she goes. And um, I, we're really lucky that way that Haley and Jared, this is the only place they're going right now. So um, it's kind of cute, but Steve got out ribs out of the freezer and um, we're going to make ribs. Well, he's going to make ribs. I'm not. And then I'm going to make cheesy hash browns. And we're going to invite Haley and Jared over for dinner on Thursday night. Haley, did Dad tell you Thursday? If he didn't, it's Thursday. And so that'll be nice. And then today Steve made chicken fajitas and chicken stir fries so we have lots of good food to eat for the next several days and I did not eat any clam chowder today <laughs> I had breakfast and then we did order we ordered out from Mims because we're gonna keep our um, little restaurants going that's my mission I'm gonna do my part to keep our restaurants in business okay Haley said he did tell her dinner Thursday night ribs mm, I can't wait um, Oh, I'm sorry. Chris says I'm lucky. She, you, she, she hasn't seen her kids. Get on Instant Messenger and do some video chatting. It's amazing how much better you feel after you've seen the person, after you've seen the kids or seen the mom or, you know, whatever. Amy had ice cream and pork skins for supper. That's awesome. <laughs> it's okay, Amy. It's okay. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Good to see you in here. Kim had fish fingers and curly fries. I had a cheeseburger and french fries from Mims, home of the best butter burger in the world. And it was sloppy with butter, but it was delicious. Haley had a hamburger, maybe a cheeseburger, with nothing on it except ketchup. She's very picky that way. And some cheese curds, so those were good too. I got to, I got to try one. Yeah, Don says, ooh, I love cheesy hash browns. Who doesn't love cheesy? Haley will even eat the cheesy hash browns. She doesn't like the way I put cornflakes on the top of them. So we're going to try shake and bake instead. We'll see. They're going to be delicious. And Dancine had strawberry shortcake for dinner. Are you kidding me? I love strawberry shortcake. Oh, maybe that's what I should... Steve's running to the store tomorrow. Maybe I should have him get that so we can have dessert. Haley doesn't like it, but me and Jared and Steve will. Haley, what would you like for dessert? I can make you something too. Anyways, let's flip the camera around. What are you guys drinking? Janet's having tacos. Is my Uncle Pete making the tacos or are you making the tacos, Janet? Um, Daniel says that they are FaceTiming with their kids. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Patricia has a one-month-old granddaughter. Ah, oh, you'll get to see your granddaughter soon. I'm sure of it. I'm glass half full. Just keep thinking that way. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh, Haley wants brownies and ice cream. I can do that. I can do that. I love making desserts. It's one of my favorite things. So... 
Oh, Nancy says it's only 4 p.m. in the Pacific Northwest. Yep, you guys are a long ways behind us. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. I've never had one of those, but I like peanut butter and I like bananas. I don't know if I could eat a peanut butter banana sandwich. Peggy's a picky eater too, Haley. You're among friends, my dear. <laughs> okay, we're going to flip and we're going to make this really cute card. Hang tight. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. My phone plugged in. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, earlier today for my um, team Facebook Live, we were chatting away and all of a sudden we just got disconnected. Like my screen just went blank and they were gone. If that happens to happen tonight, I want to tell you. Hang on. I just went under my desk to make sure that my phone is plugged in. Um, if that happens tonight, I want to just tell you to um, go out and come back in and look for a new live because it will disconnect me if that happens again. I told you that I'm having some problems with my laptop. I don't think that has anything to do with my phone, but weird things have been happening. Not quite sure what's going on. Hang on, I'm bringing you up on my screen. Oh, I got rid of my last two nails. That was exciting, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty happy about that. So look how crummy they look now. I'm going to give them a couple days to breathe a little bit before I try the nails that Sherry brought over for me, which was so super sweet. Okay, I got you up on my screen. So here's what's going to happen here. We are going to be using the Birthday Jubilee and the Jubilee Beauty dies. Let me see if I can find the card that I made. I might have it right here close by. Yep, I do. Hang on. Nope, that's not it. Hang on. Take a drink. Here they go. I found them. That was really quick. So, do you remember these cards that I made with this bundle? Ooh la la, right? <gasps> this is a front panel card. Super cute. Here was just a different version, color of the designer paper. Same card, just a little bit different. And these stand up really cool in case you missed them. They stand up just like that. So it's like, wow, they're, they stand tall and proud, right? So Kay said she just lost me. Well, I'm pretty sure that I'm still live. Um, yep, there I come. I just am watching my screen to make sure everything's still working properly. So we're going to be using the Birthday Jubilee bundle for the cards that I'm making. Then I'm gonna show you the card that Jay made because it is just so, so adorable. We've got a card base that's four and a quarter by 11. It's already scored at five and a half. So I'm just gonna fold that and burnish that edge good with my bone folder. And then we've got a scrap of white and you're going to need three fairly large scraps of white, or maybe you only want to make one of these cards. And I'll tell you the dimensions we're going to cut these three pieces down to in a minute. Then we've got a two pieces of Flirty Flamingo. These are both four by five and a quarter. And another piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarters by five. I've already die cut the stitched shape circles. So it's the largest circle in the next size down in Flirty Flamingo and Whisper White. So we're gonna do a little stamping right away here. I've got Flirty Flamingo ink and then I'm going to use, hang on, I had a little piece of something on there. Celebrating you is the best. And I really like this because it has that giant U in it and it's pretty fonts. Getting warm now, I'm gonna take my blanket off. <laughs> And I'm gonna stamp this fairly close to the bottom of my circle. That looks great. And then we're going to take this scrap and our um, Memento Black ink. And we're gonna stamp that on here. And then you guys can see that I have my blends out. Oh, we can glue these two together right away. So let's do that. I'll get this glued on here. this. Okay, we'll just set that aside. And now I've got my blends out here to do just a little bit of coloring. Well, not really just a little bit, quite a bit. So let's see, what can I tell you today? 
Yeah, Michelle says flirty flamingo is such a pretty color. It really is. It's beautiful. I'm going to just color my flower. And I like these flowers. Now, the nice thing about these flowers that you can color really intricate like this and different colors and all the little loop-de-loops. Or you can just color the whole flower one color. It's completely up to you. If you like to color and you want a bunch of different colors, you do what you want to do. And let's see how good I can do. I'm not directly over this. I would have this much closer to me if I was not on camera right now. I'm just trying to get around those little loops in there. And that's how I found I could best do it. Whoops, I just covered that one completely up. So we might be scrapping this idea. But the nice thing is, is that we can. We can just color over the whole thing. No, I think it's going to be okay. Then there's these teeny weeny little flowers down here. And I just like to dot them because they're so small. That's, I found the best way to color them. I'm just going to do little dots. Colors them all in. Okay, that was Flirty Flamingo, or I'm sorry, that was Lovely Lipstick Light. Now I'm going to bring in the Flirty Flamingo uh, Light. And we're going to color the little dots that we left white. If you left them white, there's not much white left here, but eh, you know what I mean. And then we'll do, again, one of these little flowers on each side. And I just like the pop of color that this is going to bring with all the different colors, right? And we're also going to color the outside petals of this flower. And I think the best way to do it is just to outline it so that I know I'm going to stay in the lines. And then you can just color right over it because it's not going to hurt a thing. Now you don't have to be so careful, right? And I like coloring when I don't have to be so careful. There we go. Okay, next. I'm gonna bring in my la 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 Dark Daffodil Delight. And I really kind of messed the center of that one up, but it's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. The center of these little flowers. Then I'm coming in with Pool Party dark. And I'm going to do these little flowers. Now how did I pick these colors? Well, I decided that I wanted to use Flirty Flamingo cardstock in my card. So I needed some pink colors. And then I went on Pinterest and I just looked at some cards that had flowers on them. And this was kind of a color combination. I looked at it and I went, oh, they use this, this, and this. So I use this, this, and this too. And that's oftentimes how I will come up with my color combos is go look for cards that are appealing to me. And then I go with those colors because I'm not really good at that. I'm not good at knowing what colors to put together. Now I have Granny Apple Green in the dark and the light we're going to use. And I'm just coloring that hash mark that goes down the center of my leaves. Then I'm going to come in with the light one and blend it. And that just makes me look artsy fartsy, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you guys Haley's scrapbook page. I wanted to wait until more people got on and then I completely forgot. So I'm gonna drag that in in just a second so you can see it. I didn't wanna show it right at the beginning because there's not a lot of people and then they would have missed it, right? Okay, isn't that pretty? All right, so. In the set of dies and the Jubilee Beauty dies is a die that cuts this flower out. So we can die cut that. And then we also have this element. And I already took this element and I die cut it on my three and three quarters by five inch piece right here. And that's what I've got. So I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. But we're going to die cut these flowers. And once you do that, you end up with this just like magic, right? I'm gonna close up my ink pad and I'm going to bring in the page that Haley made. Are you guys ready for this? Cause, whoops, I just bumped you, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Let's make sure I got this centered. Here it is. This is the page um, that talks about Haley and Jared finding out that the bait, they were pregnant, that Haley was pregnant. And look at how beautiful. She used the 
um, Honey Bee Specialty Designer Series paper and made all of these triangles and cut them in half. They're all mounted on dimensionals. And Haley, what did you say to me today about the dimensionals? Oh, she said, Mom, good thing you're rich because I am using a lot of dimensionals. <laughs> and I thought that was hysterical because, well, number one, I'm not rich. And number two, I have lots of dimensionals, whether I'm rich or not. <laughs> But I thought that was really, really cute. And so um, what else? She's got a little medallion here that I thought was really pretty. Look what she did down here. This is These are current stamp sets. This one was our Valentine set in the Spring Mini Catalog. This swoosh is from something called Swirly. Oh, hang on. The sets are right here. Let me grab them. Okay, I'll show you what she used. She used the arrow out of the heart felt and that's for this element right over here the arrow out of the heart felt she used this line out of the swirly frames she used this swoosh right here out of the Merry Christmas to all and this set is over there but I don't know that she did anything with that she didn't I don't think right Haley you don't have anything on here from that one. But anyways, that's what she used to make all those little elements. Yeah, and it just tells the story that mom and dad first found out about you on August 16th. They were both so excited. The first person we told was mom's best friend, Nina, because mom had an upcoming bachelor party that she would have to fake drink for. <laughs> and she didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> And have her best friend be wondering why she was doing that. She would have blown it and told everybody probably. So anyways, then it tells how they told. And this was, um, if you guys remember right, she gave us a pile of wedding pictures. And this was the last one in the pile. And her and Jared came over. And we were going through the pictures and going, oh, that's pretty. And oh, I love this one. And oh, and oh, and this was the last picture. And my reaction to that was, shut the front door because I knew exactly what it was. This is how they announced that they were um, going to have a baby. So anyways, yeah, these are embossed. She put some pearls and some little sequins up there. Yeah, quite amazing, right? I love all these pages she's making. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> all right, so we've got this going on. And then these three pieces of Whisper White cardstock. So what I'm going to do with those, and of course I'm still doing, this is Jay's card that she made, okay? We've got the Tufted Embossing Folder 3D, we've got the Scripty 3D Folder, and also the Lace 3D Folder. So what I did is I put a piece of Whisper White in each one of these embossing folders, and I ran it through the Big Shot. Okay, and then I end up with all of this going on. So here's that, oh my gosh, that lacy one is just like totally the coolest thing ever, isn't it? Then we've got the Tufted and the Scripty 3D. So I'm going to bring in my little paper trimmer here. I hope that, yep, this is going to be big enough. Okay, and then I'm going to do the Scripty 3D one is going to be one and three quarters by, oh shoot, I can't use this because it needs to be by five. This doesn't go out to five. It's good for little bits, but it's not gonna work for this. I was like, oh, I can use my little paper trimmer. Okay, so here's our five. Okay, so we've got one and three quarters by five. I will share, oops, I'm sorry, that shouldn't be five, it should be three and three quarters. I'm reading something different. I will share these dimensions, you guys. Sorry about that. One and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, so we've got this. Oh, hang on, I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to strip off my clothes. Thank God the camera is down here and not over here. Okay, then we need two pieces, and these next two pieces are going to be three and an eighth by one and three quarters. So let me get this out of the way. One and three quarters by three and an eighth. And you need two pieces that size. Here we go. And then we're going to do this one. And just like Jay did on her card, I want to catch this design right here. So I'm going to kind of center that in my one and three quarters area. 
So I'm gonna go kind of maybe right here. And then now it's gonna be my one and three quarters. Ooh, I think I did pretty good. I did look at how good I did <laughs> I just eyeballed that and then um, we need this to also be three and an eighth so I'm just gonna cut off a little bit down here now I'm just doing this so that I can get the pattern that I want and then this is three and an eighth now why did I do why did I emboss such big pieces for this like what about all the rest of this well now I have the rest of this left over and I can make some more of these cards um, where did my piece go that I here's one oh one, two, three. Okay, so I can cut this up and make more cards. And I think that's pretty cool. You do it once, you can make more than one card. Okay, hang on a second while I start taking off my clothes. Because I'm getting really hot. Okay, whew. Here we go, blanket off. Pretty soon I'm gonna take the knee highs off, people. <laughs> it's getting pretty risque in here. Okay. Here we go. Now, we're going to take our Whisper White card base and we're gonna glue this piece that we die cut onto the Flirty Flamingo. Remember, we have two pieces of Flirty Flamingo. So I'm gonna put one of them on here. They're both four by five and a quarter, so then this is just a quarter inch smaller. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down here too. I wasn't going to, but it's kind of sticking up a little bit. I don't like that. There we go. Okay, and I just rubbed my dirty finger over it, so I'll use my eraser to get that off in a minute, but you guys probably can't even see that. Okay, so here's our inside of our card. And I just wanted something on the inside and I really didn't have anything that I wanted to stamp, so I thought adding this extra layer with that die cut in it was gonna be really cool. Isn't that pretty? Then the front of our card, we're going to take this layer and I gotta get some dimensionals. Oh no, I don't have any left. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Haley. I've got dimensionals. Now the scripty folder, while you can't really read what it says, you can tell if the letters um, and the words are right side up. So make sure that you get them right side up and not upside down. But we're gonna put this right over here then we're gonna bring this in. And because I um, embossed this, I've got some like little frayed edges when I cut it. So let me, I'm gonna just trim those off just a little bit. Oops, I'm not doing a very good job here. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this one and put it right over here. And then the tufted one I'm gonna add that right here. And I've got too big of a gap there. Hmm, what am I gonna do about that? I think I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. I'm gonna pull this off. And this is why I don't use a ton of glue because if I need to, I can adjust things and do this and it's not usually going to destroy my project. But what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this layer a little smaller. I must have measured wrong here someplace. I'm gonna trim this just a tiny bit. And I'll give you guys the right measurements, don't worry. Sorry about that. Like I said, I must have kind of messed something up here. Okay, that's gonna look good. But guess what? My words are upside down now, so I need to do it this way. Just gonna get this on here, and then we're gonna trim this flamingo layer up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna trim this off. Ah, doesn't that look so much better? Yes. Now let's see how it looks on here. Oh, it's gonna look just fine. Okay, now you're gonna take all of this and glue it to the front of your card. Just like this. Then I'm going to take this layer and add it 
with dimensionals. Oh, my poor fingernails, right? Where did my take your pick tool go? Right here. And this one. Here we go. We're gonna take this and put it right in here. And last but not least, I think I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of here too. And gosh, Haley, I don't have any dimensionals left. <laughs> don't worry, you guys, I have a whole drawer full of dimensionals. A stamper cannot be without her dimensionals. And I see I did this a little bit lower so that I could add these flowers right to the top. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty. I love this. I love it. And I hope you can see all the dimension with the three different embossing folders. I see this one's a little crooked. Darn it. Well, I'll fix that later. But anyways, you get the idea, right? So let me figure out, this is actually uh, three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then this one is a little bit more than three and five eighths. You'll get it. I'll put them, I'll put them on with the, um, on my blog post, which I probably won't do until tomorrow morning. I didn't do my blog post last night because I said I was tired and I actually got done stamping with you guys and I really did. I went outside for a little bit by Steve and got stinky from the fire and then I went to bed at 8.30 and I couldn't eat popcorn and watch my movie because somebody named Haley Jade Atchison, Flynn, Fink, <laughs> I don't even know her last name anymore, ate all my sour patches to go with my popcorn. So anyways, I think this is really pretty. I like this a lot. Now, let me show you Jay's card. Are you guys ready? What? She used the little elephant stamp set and the elephant builder punch to make this adorable baby card. And she used the basket weave over here, which is also very, very pretty. Yeah. This is where my idea came from today. That was it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to make tonight? I need something to make. And then Jay sent this. Haley opened the mail and I'm like, this is it. This is what I'm sharing tonight. Jay, you're on here. I'm so glad you like it. I loved your card. Like I was like, oh, this is so precious. I had to make one. Thank you for that idea. You saved me today, Jay. Yeah. So I'm just looking at your comments. Thank you guys so much. You need to go on a masked Sour Patch Kid run. I know, right, Gilmore? Because <laughs> I want to watch my movie. I really do. Anyways. Okay, I'm going to turn my phone back over. Hang on if you guys get motion sickness and if I disconnect you. Because I apparently I'm pretty good at that today. Well, it, it only happened once. So I shouldn't be like, doomsday. It's not. See, I told you I took my jacket off and I'm wearing a bra. <laughs> In case anybody wanted to know. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you today. We have the birthday Jubilee, these gorgeous, gorgeous Jubilee beauty dies. And if you remember, this is what I made last time with them. They are so, so pretty, like so pretty. What was I gonna grab? Oh, and then this is the card from today using the stamp set and the die. And then that little inside die, which I think just really does it, right? It just dresses the whole thing up. It's so pretty. Now, I'm going to keep this. I didn't stamp happy birthday in it or anything because I want to be able to write whatever I want in here. If I need a congratulations card, celebrating you is the best. If I just need an all occasion card, celebrating you is the best. You can send this to anybody, and I love it. Bonnie's not wearing a bra tonight. Good for you, Bonnie. Because I'll tell you what, when I get done here, that baby is coming off. I am not even kidding. Hi, Terry. I see you're in here. Woo! I'm hot. Okay. So, I will be back live tomorrow. I don't know what time. Again, I usually post, put a little post up about 15 minutes before I go live. And... If you guys have any requests, let me know. I can't promise that I'll do them, but at this point, I have no idea what I'm making tomorrow. None. We'll figure it out then. 
well, a little before then. By the time I get on here, I'll have it figured out. But sometime tomorrow, I will be live again. And um, <laughs> Mindy says hers came off as soon as she's done with work. I know, you know what? When I go someplace, that's the, usually the first thing I do when I walk in the door. I head right upstairs to my fancy dressing room. You guys know that story, right? Boom, that bra is off. Those girls are loose and I am feeling good. That's what I do. <laughs> I want you guys to have... Oh, thanks. Terry says my hair looks pretty tonight. Thank you very much. I washed it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, you guys have yourselves a wonderful evening. And um, keep your spirits up. We will get through this. We will get through this. I promise you. And like I said, this too shall pass. It's going to pass and we're all going to be good again. So have a wonderful evening. Take care of yourself. Rest. Maybe that's not the right word because I think a lot of people have been resting. A lot of people have been cleaning out their whole houses. Like our garbage is tomorrow. The cans on the curbs are overflowing with garbage. People are cleaning out their stuff. Oh, Joanne just said, how about a 3D project? Hmm. That might be a great idea, Joanne. I happen to have some of those up my sleeve, I can tell you that. And Mary washed her hair too. Good for you, Mary. Don't you feel better when you wash your hair? I just feel better when I take a shower and wash my hair. All right, so relax. Have a relaxing evening. Um, watch a favorite show. Have you guys watched this crazy um, Mountain King? Or no. <laughs> Somebody just said Mountain Air and oh my gosh, it all gets jumbled in here. Tiger King? I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard so much about it. It's supposed to be really like kind of, I don't know if stupid is the word for it, but funny stupid. If you like that kind of thing, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I'm not watching it till I get done with um Gone Girl. That's my goal. Maybe I'll go get some sour patches. I'll mask up. I'll glove up, mask up. Oh, go get some sour patches, maybe. We'll see. You guys have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.